Welcome to a quest for metal. Today is a little channel update and a CD collection um, video for you guys. It's the New Year's, so hopefully you've had a good New Year's. What have you eaten? What have you drunk? Tell Questy down below. Also, for the channel update, we're in a new location. Some new stuff, new poster, new stuff. Uh, I'm going to try and sort it out with this wall here, get some vinyls on the wall, but I actually need some things to stick into it, so they'll hold onto the wall first. But don't worry, it it'll get filled out. But yeah, new location, new filming equipment, hopefully better audio, because loads of people complain about the audio, so we, we got an upgrade, got an upgrade. It is a bit dark at the moment because I'm doing it at night time, but at the daytime the lighting should be, you know, a bit better. But for now, channel update after the new year, which is, is right now, we're doing some new series. I want you guys to let me know what you'd want down below, because we got some, um, I got some things in the pipeline. Yeah, um, some new series, some like album versus album, I'm thinking about. Some stuff with Bandcamp, I'm thinking about. Metal Trenches does that quite well. And I want to steal it. I want to I want to steal it. Sorry, Trenches, but it's a good idea. And you can't keep it to yourself. <laughs> um, so yeah, some Bandcamp stuff. Album versus album. The history video is doing really well. The Black Metal history video is doing really well. And it was really fun to do. A lot of effort, though. So let me know if you want more of them. I am thinking about doing it with Doom because I love Doom as well, and also Death Metal, because that's fun, but I can do it with more than just genres. Yeah, I can do it with specific bands. So if you want the history of, I don't know, Burza, I could do that. I, I could definitely do that. It's more stuff like that than ones that people know already, like Maiden and Metallica, Judas Priest, because everyone's done them. You know, I want to do the other ones where, you know, I, I like more, you know? Even though I still love Iron Maiden and Metallica, but I'd rather do the ones like Spectral Law law video because that would be great so i've just spoiled the first cd it is heterophobus spectral law if it focuses come on you bastard with weird weird album cover i don't even know what's happening in here some naked man with wings uh with some cloaked figure in the wilderness love this album from this year it was in my top 10 pretty sure of the year i love everything he does is because it's one man it's one man atmospheric black metal band alos is the name and making atmospheric black metal great is the game. And he does it fucking well. Love all these songs. The only one I'm a bit iffy on is the final one, Terion. Because it's a bit of just a meandering song. But it's cool atmosphere. I just like the parts where it's actually black metal. Bit more. Overall, fantastic. Listen, I'm glad I've got it. And I want all Spectral Laws albums. You may see another one like that in a bit. Next up. I forgot I can I forgot I bought this one to be honest it came through the door the other day and I was like what I did not remember buying that I'm glad I did because it came through Druid Autumn Eternal one of the best Druid albums uh, and let me know if I'm saying that right one of the best albums they've done it's beautiful it's like you're walking through a forest and they're screaming at you but it's beautiful it's a hauntingly beautiful uh, band and this is one of the best it's most people's favorites mine is blood in our wells but i already have that cd but now i have one of my other favorites i need to get forgotten legends though because that is probably my second favorite by them i do have a ranking of them on my channel probably my favorite one of my favorite black metal bands of all time love them and speaking of the same band speaking of roman oh not even showing it properly hate forest purity his other, other, other band, because he's got Blood of Kingu and Astro Phase, if I remember correctly, and also Hate Forest, which is way more intense, way more aggressive than Druid. It's not an atmospheric band, it's just a pure, in your face, brutal time. And I love it. And I didn't just get one, I got two Hate Forest CDs. Um, Death of the Centaurs, um, Hour of the Centaur, sorry, from last year. Loved it, but it came out in like, what? It came out Christmas Day or some shit? So I couldn't actually put it on my end of the year list, but if I if it did, then it would be on there. Because this album, fantastic. Um, what's the one about Syl Sylphian? Shadowed by a Veil of Cy Cyphian Arrows. Fantastic song, great album. One of the best from last year. Um, I say finally there's another one, but I don't have the table, so I'm going to have to run and grab it in a minute. But the next one, that's right. Another Spectral Law album with Mercognitum. Wanderers, Astrology of the Nine, probably my, one of my favourite albums of all time. This was my favourite album last year. It was. This was number one, because it's that fucking good. Um, 
every song's to do with the planets in the solar system, the first ones, Mercury, then Mars, and Earth, Venus, Jupiter. It's in weird order. They, they should have put it in order, but aside from that, the song's are fantastic. Again, spacey, cosmic, atmospheric, black metal. Beautiful album. Beautiful album. And the next one I'm going to have to run and grab. So be right back. You all ready? Here it is. Iron Maiden. Sinjutsu. That was just for the, <laughs> for the thumbnail. Sinjutsu by Iron Maiden. Vinyl. Love it. That's going to go straight up on here when I can. Um, some people love it. Some people hate it. It's more in the kind of longer I Maiden songs from Brave New World onwards. So if you like that kind of style, you'll like this album for me. Love it. Death of the Celts, fantastic. Um, every song's fantastic, to be honest, but my favourite's probably Hell on Earth. Love the last three songs the best. The longer ones, of course I do. Of course I do, it's me. So, can't go wrong with a bit of Maiden in your collection. So those were my CDs and vinyl for the collection. But again, for the update, new area changing things up hopefully the audio sounds good um, again let me know what new series you want for the coming year and what new genres or new bands you want me to do histories of and also rankings because i'm still going to do the rankings and we're still going to have some fun but i do have another question a big one and because the history of black metal went went so well would you prefer it a lot of the videos in that style where it's just me talking to the mic with videos, images, songs going on in the background, or more this kind of style, or a mixture of both, because I personally would rather have a mixture of both. Um, but if people wanted me doing the, let's just say the album rankings, if you wanted that in a more me talking in the mic with things playing in the background, I could certainly do that. It would take a lot longer though, but I could do that. Definitely for the history videos I'm going to be doing that, because it was it was better. Come on, it was better than what I did before. But for the rankings and stuff like that, I want your feedback, so let me know if you'd prefer that or my kind of rambling style. So yeah, that's it. That's the update and the CD collection uh, video for today. Hopefully you had a good year, and hopefully this year gets even better. So we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.